Hi, this is Cass from Aussie Cass Plays and welcome to Season 4, Part 14, I think, of my 100 Vampire Baby Challenge. So pretty much everyone is in bed. I'm actually trying to get Nelly to go up and look after the baby, but we also have a message saying that it's Velma's birthday so we can age her up. Oh, and Rowan came past to visit, which I think is one of Santhi's sisters, but honestly, they've all blurred together. I'm not, you know, not telling a lie. They've all blurred together. I could look it up. Uh, on the family tree. Oh, look, we have power points to spend. That's exciting. It would be nice to max that out, I guess. And that leaves us with two. Detect personality. I'd rather just buy the observant trait because it doesn't waste points. Garlic immunity is not really an issue because we don't have garlic in the house and we don't really go anywhere. That being said, I did just pick eternally welcome, which we don't really go anywhere, so I don't need that either. But we're going to age up little Velma. So that's cool. Quentin has sent her a gift, as have Jude and a few others. She is wild. <laughs> Great. I would have loved it if she had um, red hair. Not going to lie. But it is, what, it's a Thursday today? So the kids have got school. Let me just catch up on where we're up to. So it's bunny hunt day, but the kids do have school on bunny hunt day. And tomorrow is Love Day and then Neighborhood Brawl. Awesome. Happy birthday, Velma. Cool. Can you hurry up? Cool. Very cute. No, pick her up. We're going to take her downstairs. There we go. That's very cute. Yep. And she's feeling embarrassed because she helped Sergio with his school project and they did a terrible job. I don't understand why she has, I mean, he has that moodlet too from the hastily completed project, which it wasn't. I told them to complete it, what was it, carefully, but because it was poor, that's the moodlet they get. So, which is a bit unfair. All right, what have we got in the mail? We get the mail, probably presents. We don't have any gardening to do. And I think everything else is under control, so that's good. And Xanthi and Rowan may or may not still be here. Oh, did, we didn't have, what are our naps again? Okay, this one I'm under control on naps. I just finished playing in my Asylum Challenge file. That was not under control on naps. So I oh, I don't really want those. What else did we get? The projects, I think I put in her inventory last part or between parts. Was it just the plants? Did someone just send me plants? Well, that's a bit boring. Uh oh, what's the new toddler doing? She's wild. Where's she going? Oh, she's gone out there to play. I mean, you can do that for a little bit if you want. Now, Reagan has had a nightmare. She has been doing very, very badly compared to her brother. I'm going to have, not Reagan, sorry, um, Ursula. I'm going to have her teach Ursula shapes. She may or may not stick with it, but see, if you look here, Sergio just needs movement and potty, whereas Ursula needs communication, imagination, and movement. Oh, no, she's fine for movement, but she's got everything else she still needs. So she's doing, she's got a lot of catching up to do. I don't exactly know why. It's just kind of worked out that way. I think maybe she's spending too much time out here playing on this thing like her sister's doing right now. You are feeling like vomiting because... I don't know why. Did you have some off food, maybe? Oh, Nelly's got a pristine reputation. We're going to have a quick meal. We have a ham and cheese sandwich. And then I actually want you to go back to bed, if that's okay with you. And you have slept the full night away. You're not yet a vampire, so I do need you to get yourself some food. Get some leftovers. There we go. And you're out here playing with Thelma after I asked you to be teaching Ursula because that is how she rolls. She does not do anything that requires any kind of responsibility. Speaking of which, can I get you to potty train Thelma? Great. Thanks. She needs to learn to use a potty. Think of it as an investment in the future. Come on. Come on. Talking is a huge step. Yes, it is. Come on. Nelly, as is traditional, put the kid on the potty and then stopped caring. So I'm going to get her to go and maybe sing in the shower. And then she needs to eat because she's hungry. And it's 
that time of night where there won't be random human sims walking past because everyone walking past like Rowan will be a vampire so cool all right so I think we are on track for peeps to be going to school I don't like the fact that we currently have three toddlers does not fill me with joy and Nelly I might get you to cook some more food once you've finished eating my dear because you have kids and they gotta eat garlic noodles for a house full of amps let's not let's do pasta primavera i don't know if there's garlic in that but doesn't seem to make a difference okay i think we're under control although i say that and Velma tips over into ragey so yeah that's great you can go potty on your own which is wonderful and then what did you need everything so i'm gonna get her to babble a heap of times and work on her communication skills now, where are we up to? We are third trimester in 13 hours, so we may or may not have the baby in this part. Man, I really wish someone would make me pasta right now. That'd be amazing. I really could go a bowl, big bowl of creamy pasta. I'm going to make a big bowl of creamy pasta after this, you guys, just so you know. Really, really want creamy pasta. I don't even know what's in pasta primavera, but it sounds delicious, and I imagine it's creamy. Maybe it's got, like, mushrooms and bacon. I don't know. What do I know? Can you come in here and clean up? Be useful for a change. That'd be awesome. Oh, someone didn't finish their food. Oh, it's you. You're going to bed. That's fine. Right. Kids have school in half an hour. We'll pop that there and we'll pop that all the way over here. This is a household where we throw out our plates when they're done. It's like, no, no, put them in the bin because we get money for that. And the cost of a plate is free and the cost of throwing the plate in the bin is like 50 bucks i mean obviously why wouldn't you all right are you you're all right at the moment how are your skills homework 75 percent done oh she's not aging up today where is your homework oh you left it up here i'll put that back in her inventory at least can i get you to finish your homework thanks before you go to school that's right I think she aged up to be evil. That's right, because I wasn't paying attention. And she's a child of the ocean. I can just imagine her somehow fulfilling a lifelong aspiration of becoming like an evil mermaid or something. So why would you give up immortality to have a fishtail? Doesn't seem like a good trade. <laughs> right. Sergio's off to school. She's off to school as well. I'll tell them both to study hard. Okay, so all three toddlers, or two of the toddlers are asleep. One of them is currently working very, very hard playing with her Henry Puffer doll. This is a custom content toy, if you're wondering. The Henry Puffer pack comes with kids' toys. They work the same as all the other toys, but that's fine. You know, she gets to play with a little Hermione-style witch. Aww. I should probably give Velma a makeover. I have been actually changing the clothes of the um, children a little bit more than I used to. I don't know, I just, I felt like it was worth it. <laughs> like, when I'm going in, oh, have I checked if they're vampires or not? Velma, no, I haven't checked Velma. But I look at me remembering, oh, I can't, because she's got no energy. I could just go into create a sim, I guess. Let's do that. No, I don't want to wake her up. Let's take you. I mean, it's probably going to reset everything anyway, but we'll modify household. Let's see if Nellie has managed to have yet another human, because she's only had one vampire so far. We're doing, not doing very well with Nelly. All right. Velma is a vampire. Oh my gosh. Have we broken the curse? The no vampire curse? I say curse. It was four in a row, but still. Yay. Good girl. Now, have you got the same hair as Tyler? Pretty much you do. This is why I'm getting them mixed up. I'm going to change her hair to something else curly hair and a bun maybe i don't know i really want to do like scooby-doo style red hair i feel like that's cheating no i gotta change your hair come on you just yep you're having that hair for all your outfits i don't care that much there we go and i really don't like your everyday wear i'm just gonna go for some styles so what is she she's wild is there an outfit that screams wild to me? It's kind of cute. That one's cute. Let's do that. Uh, that'll do. 
I don't like the shoes, actually. <laughs> We're going to just switch them across to yellow. Uh, yep. Uh, the glasses look weird on pyjamas. I take it back. I've changed my mind. Uh, party wear won't matter. That won't matter. And I don't even know what season it is. What season is it, you guys? I don't know. I've forgotten. Uh, I don't know. That looks good. And that looks good. Done. I put a lot of thought into it, didn't I? But yay! Velma's is a vampire. That means Nellie's had four humans, two vampires, and is pregnant with one or more unknown quantities. Yeah, I don't know that we'll have the baby in this part. I don't. I also didn't check how the other kid was going with her skills. So I don't know if she's going to be ready to age up or not. So I don't know if we'll be aging up another teen in this part. We're obviously not going to be aging up the older one whose name I've blanked on. No, Reagan was the older one. Sergio. So Reagan, we won't be aging up. Sergio, we might. Maybe. He's got the prerequisites, but he doesn't seem to be working hard enough. Come on, buddy. You can do it. I believe in you. Hustle is imagination level three. Hooray. Right. What are you doing? Reading a book. Okay. Come on. I believe in you. She's so tired. No, your scholarships. Don't really want to. I'm only going to have her interact with the unicorn once because I do want her to go potty before she goes to bed. Obviously, she's not doing shapes. So that was a pipe dream. I don't know what I was thinking. Can I? No, Nelly, please. Can I get you to... Will she just jump in on the potty training that the kid's already doing? Can I just tell her to, like, assist or something? Like, how you can tell them to join a game or whatever? You think I would know this by now? I probably do know this by now. I've just forgotten. We'll just do potty train Ursula. Maybe that'll do it. I don't really know. She won't She won't stick around anyway. We all know this. See, look, it's cancelled out already. Ugh. Can I get you to duck meditate? Now, is it sunny? Oh, the flower bunny's here. What do we need to do? Do friendly interactions with it. Hunt for eggs. And bake. Are you a boy bunny or a girl bunny? Can I, Can you be a daddy? I don't really know. But I don't want her to be outside very long because it is sunny. Hey, flower bunny. Is that one of my relatives? It is. It's Yusuf. I'm impressed he's still alive. Did I disable aging on like other households? I might have. I'm just going to take her back inside. Hopefully the bunny will follow. The reason I... Oh, I forgot to put that away. The reason I want it to come inside is primarily that she's a bit hungry. <laughs> so I was kind of hoping she could, you know, bite it. Go inside. Now she wants to hunt for eggs because she's a child. So I'm going to get her to do some of that just to try and tick this off. And then the toddlers can do the same, I guess, when they wake up. Maybe. I don't know if I can be bothered. I'm not going to lie. Hello, bunny. I want to bite you, bunny. Where are you? Is it still here? It's just standing on the street. Can I call it? Come on, bunny. Hello. Did she find enough eggs? She did. We don't actually need eggs. That's one of the very few collections complete that I've completed. So I'm only hunting for eggs to sell them, but we've got, I think, the full set here. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to compel it for a small drink. It would be nice to know if it was male or female. I guess I could try and seduce it. Beguile the bunny. This is deeply disturbing. I wonder what outfit the bunny wears in bed. Like if you influence it to change outfits, would you get to see what it looks like? Ooh, bunny's feeling pretty happy. Very flirty. We're going to uh, compliment its appearance. And or should I say they? I might say they. It feels a bit weird because there is a sim under there. I just don't know what their gender is. So compliment their appearance. Uh, we'll flirt with them. Oh no, we're going to eat them first. I mean, maybe. I'm not doing friendly interactions though because it says to do friendly interactions. I'm not doing friendly interactions. All right. Oh, I have a toddler that's awake and in desperate need of a bath. That's inconvenient. Okay, open this. I'm going to put some food out for you. Oh, wait. Put that away. You, grab a serving. Let's concentrate on the thing that would get you taken away first. Now, are you... You're still feeling flirty. I guess you didn't remember. 
It does seem to be how vampire feeding works. The sin that gets fed on against their will doesn't remember it. And the sim that sees it is the one that has a negative reaction. It does seem to be how it goes. I have to admit, I've always played my sims, if they get fed on against their will, like if Vlad comes over to their house or whatever, I immediately declare war against Vlad and then try and murder him. I did that with Haley in my Weird Science Let's Play, and she went through her entire life hating vampires, except for Caleb, because no one can hate Caleb. But she really hated Vlad. And even Lilith. I think even Lilith tried to turn up and bite her once. I guess I'll have her give the kid a bath after this. Just because she can't actually get pregnant to the flower bunny, even if they are able to get her pregnant. She can first kiss with them, though. So I wonder if in my queue it shows... No. It doesn't. I know that actually they're a bro. Does that imply that they're a dude? I don't think it does. Oh, well. Um, can you first kiss the flower bunny? Yep. Hang on. I feel like this is screenshot worthy. Come on. Ah! <laughs> oh, that's horrifying. No! <laughs> I mean, I've heard of sucking vase before, but oh, dear God. No! She's like, ha, 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 ha. I mean, she did just bite the flower bunny right through their outfit as well, so. She just can't handle the fact it's a mystery. I'm not giving them keys. Sweet talk. All right, uh, and then I do need to bath the stinky child. There we go, Tyler. There you go, Tyler. Your mum's coming, I promise. Just, just chill. And you need attention, so this should give you attention too. Come on, bath the stinky child. Are you, can I influence you to change clothes? What? I mean, I could, oh, ask to be girlfriend. Aw, oh, Flower Bunny's a girl. Ask to be girlfriend. Oh, well, that's disappointing. <laughs> oh, that was worth a shot. I mean, I wasn't doing anything else with my time. I don't know who she's getting pregnant to next, though. Let's have a look. Uh, so Shelby, Maddox is an alien. Carly, we never actually figured out. I think I had it in my head that Carly maybe was one of the Sims I downloaded from the 100 Baby Challenge hashtag who then married Steve Rogers. And I figured that any Sim you download from that hashtag, if they're female presenting, are going to be a trans woman and therefore maybe could get your Sim pregnant. So that was what I was thinking by trying to seduce Carly. But then I eventually decided it was a bit of a waste. So we've got Spencer and... Brennan. So I think they're our next two kind of potentials. Now you, young lady, did not have a skill at level three. You also didn't get to excellent. And you, I think, didn't get to excellent either. But all I need to do for him, I think, is do his homework and he should be fine tomorrow. And then take care of needs, do something fun and you'll be all good you young lady need to no you're not grilling anything i have feelings on that now can i get you to bake some sugar cookies since you want to do flower bunny related things so i mean i guess this will help him with his movement does he need movement no he needs just oh no he does movement and potty so if i get him to like walk around hunting for eggs. It's actually productive use of my time. I don't know how many times you actually have to hunt for eggs. You're going to get some pasta and then do your homework. And then I needed to work on a skill. Now, what skill were we working on with her? I forget. Logic. Sounds good. Come up here and play some chess. Cool. I think we're under control. I'm super sad the flower buddy is a woman, though. I was living in hope that maybe she would be a man. But no, alas, it was not to be. Should I give her residence keys? If I do, she's just going to turn up and drop flowers everywhere. Or does she only do that on bunny hunt day? Oh, she's leaving now anyway. She must have realized that maybe being here was a bit of a mistake. Do that baking. Then we're going to fly down here and change the weather to uh, rain. Because I want her to go out and do some gardening. Right, did you tick the thing off? You did. And you can't interact with the flower bunny. I don't really care. Why is it not in the dollhouse? How is it I can have one inside this little stool here? 
but not inside the actual dollhouse that has internal cavities or whatever. Like, well, this thing, surely there should be eggs inside that. And inside that one. Does that make sense? You, did you get the tick? You did. I actually wanted her to bake as well. Oh, sugar cookies. See, that's another thing that sounds delicious. I really shouldn't be doing this when I'm hungry. I'm going to bake some breadsticks because she also wants to bake and the bunny left. So Tyler's fine. He does. What are you doing all the way down here? Little dude. No, you need to go potty. I suppose that'll get his movement up. Uh, and he does need movement. So <laughs> I guess that's a good thing. And Nelly, my love, yes, your child is coming looking for you because you don't pay it any attention. Come and clean that. And then I'm going to get her to supercell there and then come out here. And we're just, I'm going to maybe, I might just do harvest all. Let's see. Just because I don't know where we're up to with our plasma fruit stash. Uh, 87. I like to have more than 99. I like it to say 99 plus. I don't really want the cookies in the house because then my sims will eat them and have sugar rushes and it'll be annoying. Can you look in the coffin? Yep, sounds good. And that chair there, not the vases and stuff. Again, vases are things you could hide something inside. Hey, little dude, you hungry? I did tell you to go potty. Grab a serving of breadsticks. At least they're not full of sugar. Go potty. Yeah, I believe in you. Oh, he wanted attention. So he came to his evil sister. I'm going to sell these cookies. He came to his evil sister for attention. That's sad. She needs to go to bed. Go to sleep, you. See, a toy box should have eggs in it. Why wouldn't it have eggs in it? Doesn't make sense. I really was hoping that I'd be able to age up the twins in this part. They're getting close, but yeah, not not quite there. Do I have a stereo in here? Apparently not. Oh, Nelly, you are so predictable. <laughs> Come and put some music on for your kids. Uh, let's turn on new disco. Sounds like good music to bop to. <gasps> Teach dancing, please. <gasps> yes, Nelly, teach him dancing. Oh, he didn't finish going potty, did he? Oh, doesn't matter. He got most of the way there. It's fine. Teach me to dance, Mama. She won't stick around, but we'll give it a shot. Okay, cool. I might actually end this part here, you guys. I feel like, other than attempting to seduce the flower bunny, well, seducing the flower bunny, who turned out to be a lady, we haven't really achieved a lot. Like, she hasn't had this baby yet. I mean, she's ready to give birth any time now. We haven't aged up any kids except for the baby who aged up automatically. <laughs> Just feels like... A whole lot of nothing. <laughs> Hopefully you guys don't feel the same way. Anyway, now is definitely the time to give me some W names. I've got a lot of excellent W names already. In theory, we could have an X baby as well. I think you guys have given me X names too, actually. I think I had a list of names for both. And then we're up to Y and Z, obviously. Uh, so that would be... Where are you going? Are oh, you going to go dance? That's fine. I mean, I have names for all of the letters, but it's always awesome to get suggestions from you guys as well. So please feel free to leave me a comment. And in the next part, I feel like all the things should be happening because it's like we're almost to the point of being able to age up so many people. <laughs> I feel like next part should be like, bam, 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 get it done. Anyway, like I said, going to leave it here. So if you've enjoyed, please like and subscribe. You know the drill. Don't forget to wash your hands and I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching.